everybody! Today I'll be doing a What's in Your Dance Bag video. So I'm going to start by showing you my dance bag itself. It's empty right now. So this is my bag. It's by Jumeau Dance Bags, which is the um, dance bag company owned by the girls in the Twins Talk Ballet 93 YouTube channel. They do um, kind of hand, uh, hand make the bags in custom color combinations, so you can choose the colors based on the fabrics they have. Mine is this seafoam green paisley kind of design with a kind of a cream accent on it. And then chocolate brown on the, on the um, bottom and on the top and on the inside of the straps. Inside of my bag it has lots of different pockets. I'm going to try to open it up so you can see in here. Some of them have elastic on top and one of them is a zipper pocket. Zipper pocket is uh, way back here in the back. And then on the front I have this pleated pocket that closes with this little magnetic flap thing here. So I'll start by telling you what I keep in this uh, front pocket. So I keep kind of very boring basic things in there. I have my tissues um, in case my nose starts dripping during class. I have my pink strawberry uh, EOS lip gloss. And I have my basic unscented hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works. I really like this, um, keeping it in my bag because I always feel like my hands are kind of gross after I'm done with class. I've been touching the bar that everyone else has been touching. It's a really great thing to just kind of clean up my hands when I'm on my way home from class. Now inside the kind of larger zipper pocket at the back of my bag, I keep a few different things. First, I have my dance journal, which is a very important tool for me. I like to write down, you know, what class I've been going to, who's teaching it, the date of the class, what I learned, what I think I did wrong, what I think I did right, what I need to work on, specific corrections the teacher gave me, and if I'm working on choreography, I like to write that down so I don't forget it. I have this nice little journal. It's from Barnes & Noble. It has this kind of a zen, like, tree design on the front. It has this little elastic strap to hold it closed. And I keep this little pen, it's a, from Carnival Cruise Lines, but it's really um, kind of simple and it closes well, so I keep that with it, and I keep that in the zipper pocket. Also in the uh, zipper pocket, I have a few other things. I have my flashlight, which is also kind of a glow stick, so it's a flashlight here, you can see there. And then this top part will glow green and flash. Um, my dad gave this to me. He thinks it's a good idea for me to have a flashlight with me if I'm walking uh, to my car from the theater late at night, or if I'm leaving the studio when it's dark, it would be a good idea to have a flashlight with me. So also in that pocket, I have my kind of peach-colored Sharpie. I usually use this to write in my point shoes with my name or right and left or whatever I, I need to do there. It's also good um, for writing my name inside costume pieces. And also in that zipper pocket, I have this little Altoids tin. It is my um, point shoe stitch kit. I've put it together myself. So in there, I have um, this lighter to kind of burn the ends of my um, ribbon and elastic when I sew them on. I have this little dental floss that I got as a sample from the dentist. I use that um, to sew my point shoes. I have this little Swiss Army knife. I use the little scissors on it um, to kind of trim little threads on my point shoes and things like that. It also has a knife on it that I can use to kind of score the bottoms of my shoes if they're feeling too slick. I have a couple of extra pieces of elastic here. I have this little bit of ribbon that I stick my needle in so that I can find it. And lastly, I've got a couple of safety pins so I can stick on my ribbon and elastic while I'm sewing it. That's all for there. And then the last couple things that I keep in that zippered pocket are these two little good luck charm thingies. This is a little Totoro from the My Neighbor Totoro Miyazaki movie. It's just a little fun little um, Japanese charm thing. And this is a Black Widow uh, chibi action figure from the Marvel Avengers movies. Um, I like having them in my bag just as little good luck charms. I kind of play with them like this in my hands when I'm backstage at a performance. Just fun little things to have. Then moving on to um, the kind of large uh, elastic top pocket in my bag, I keep a few things in there. I have my um, simple skincare uh, cleansing wipes. If I'm leaving class and going like straight to school, straight to work, straight to the store, something like that, um, I can kind of clean up my face so I'm not dripping with sweat and I'm uh, ready to join the real world. I also have my toe tape in there. This is the uh, Bunheads toe tape. It's very similar to just regular masking tape. Um, I like putting that uh, on my toes and my point shoes. I also use it to um, write my name inside costume pieces where I can't just write directly on the fabric. It's great for all kinds of things. If I you know, tear a piece of paper, I can even use that to mend things like that. 
Additionally, in that pocket, I have my ball that I use to roll out my feet. It has a little penguin in it, if you can see there, because it's kind of dirty. Um, I got this at the dentist, just a little, you know, toy gift thing. I like to use it to roll out my feet because it's very hard, and it kind of grips the floor so it doesn't roll away because it's um, rubber. So I like to stand on one foot and kind of uh, roll out my other foot with it while I'm waiting for class to start and things like that. I also have my TheraBand. This is the uh, heavyweight Bunheads TheraBand. I like to use that before class to warm up my feet, especially when I'm getting ready to put on my foot shoes. And then the um, last uh, elastic topped pocket in my bag, I keep this. Um, this is like a scented baby powder. It's called Luxury Talcum Powder. It's in a gardenia and white peach scent. It's called Peck Sniffs of England. It's um, kind of a fun little thing. It's um, scented, a uh, very sweet flowery scent, so it's good to put in my point shoes so they don't start to smell bad. I also use it on the little gel pieces, like my toe spacers and stuff, um, just to make sure they don't get too sticky. So moving on to my point shoes and my point shoe accessories. I keep my point shoes and accessories in this bag. It's a pinkish red colored mesh bag, um, just to make sure that they all stay together and my point shoes can kind of air out and dry um, after I've worn them. So my point shoes here are uh, Grishko Nova point shoes in a size 4-2x medium shank. I really, really like the way these fit me. They work really well for my foot. So those are the point shoes that I use. The toe pads that I usually use are the um, Super Jellos toe pads from uh, Pillows for Points. They are um, fabric on both sides, the inside and the outside, and there's a layer of gel in between. So they're very cushy and they support my feet very well. I also have these little guys, which are toe caps that I've cut the tips off of. You, I usually slide them over my big toe, so they keep my big toe and second toe from squishing together. And they also protect the knuckle of my big toe from rubbing against the top of my shoe. So those are nice um, to kind of keep everything in place. I also have this little retainer case that I keep my little gel pieces in. You can see what's going on in there. There's a lot of baby powder going on in there. So I have some little kind of a gel spot things, um, some toe spacers, things like that. If I'm feeling a specific pain, I can kind of remedy that by putting a gel spot right where I need it. Also in my point shoe bag, I keep this uh, loose lambs wool, which is good if I'm doing you know, a long rehearsal or something, just need a little extra cushion in my shoes, I keep that in there just in case. Moving on to my flat shoes. I keep them in this little Sancha bag. I wear the Sancha Pro 1C um, adult split sole canvas technique shoes. I wear a size 4 medium and they're very you know, normal looking with the elastic sewn on there. I've cinched them quite a bit with the drawstrings so they fit my little skinny foot and they're a little dirty but they're very good. This is my preferred shoe. Now moving on to what I keep in my little Jumeau mini bag here. It's the same new brand as the regular dance bag and it's been made in the colors that match. So what I keep in there is my other Altoids tin which right now has, uh, whoops, I'm gonna drop them all over the place, little band-aids in it. I um, will sometimes wear those in my point shoes as well if I'm having pain in a specific place. And I also keep my toenail clippers, my little teeny baby clippers, in this bag if I have like a little hangnail or something I need to take care of before class. That's always good to have some clippers in there. So next in my Jumeau Mini are my hair things. I keep them in this little bag. This came with some makeup brushes but it's perfect for my hair things. It's clear plastic on the front so I can see them all. I have my um, hair elastics, hair nets, and um, regular bobby pins and bun pins in there so that if I'm coming to dance straight from school I can do my hair um, while I'm waiting for class to start. Go along with that, I have my comb, which is essential for getting my hair up in a bun. Also in that bag, I have my little baby mirror, um, which is kind of a cute little flower design on the front, and it's just a regular little compact mirror um, that I use when I'm putting up my hair and things like that. I also have my scissors, which are not for my hair. They're usually for cutting little strings and things off of the tips of my point shoes. I also have little baby eye drops in case my allergies are bothering me um, during class. And I have oops, um, this little tube of Ambisol, which is actually like tooth numbing cream, but sometimes I will stick that on my toes if I'm having a particular pain in my point shoes. And the last things that I keep in my dance bag are some warm-ups. 
I have these um, very tall, fluffy gray socks. I usually put them on over my technique shoes or my point shoes to keep my feet warm while I'm doing bar or while I'm waiting for rehearsal to start, something like that. They're really, really soft. They're a little bit slick on the bottom, but I'm usually not running around in them, so I really like to wear those while I'm warming up. I also have my uh, tall black stirrup leg warmers. I usually like to wear a leg warmer if I can, especially on my left foot because I have some problems with my ankle. It just helps keep my ankle kind of warm and happy and not too stiff. So I really like wearing those. I also have my black Harmony knit shorts. They look a little goofy in the video because um, they're, they're actually black. They look kind of brownish right here. But they have this little uh, kind of pattern knit into them and they're very, very soft. I sit low on my hips. They're very nice for just a little bit of coverage. Nice warm up there. And then I have my skirt. This is my preferred wrap skirt, my Block Morella um, regular wrap skirt here. It is purple, although it looks kind of brownish in the video again. Very dark purple. It's a nice little wrap. I like wearing it for rehearsal, especially for variations. just makes me look a little bit cuter, a little more in costume. I really like this piece. And then I've got my Natalie warm-up sweater here. I've already done a blog post about it. I just cannot get enough of this sweater. It's this very, very heavy, soft material, so it just clings to my body perfectly. And it has these little thumb holes. See if you can tell there. So it's got this little thumb hole here. I'm sticking my fingers through it so you can see. It's really great for um, holding onto the bar. If the bar's a little bit cold or if it feels sticky, then your hand doesn't have to specifically touch the bar. I really, really like this sweater. That is all that I actually keep in my dance bag. I have one more item that I usually take to dance class with me, and that is my yoga mat here. Um, it's just a plain lime green yoga mat. I'm sure you've all seen something like that before. I did make this bag for it. I made it out of a body pillowcase and then I crocheted this little rope um, strap for it. I usually take that to class because my teachers like to do floor bar and I just want to make sure I'm not leaving sweat stains on the floor and that my body's protected from kind of uh, pushing too hard into the floor. So that's another great thing to take to class. So that is everything uh, in my dance bag and out of my dance bag. Um, I hope you all enjoyed and got some ideas for what you need to take to class with you. I would love to see what you take in your dance bag, so leave me a response or make a video yourself, and I would love to see. Have a great day.